the majority of, of enterprises have been sitting in a world where if you own a device, corporation buys a device, it manages the device, it secures the device, right? So it's a, a world that says, if I don't manage or own the device, it's not allowed, nor is it something I care about, because it's not mine, therefore I'm not gonna worry about it. What, what matters is organizations have been able to manage those and control the life cycle and the security of those devices or workspaces, if it's a virtual device, virtual, virtual desktop. As we move forward, um, we, we believe that it's gonna go from a, you know, strictly a device, a traditional device focus to more of a, um, a, a user-centric focus um, because the number of devices that are going to proliferate are going to in increase dramatically. And I think some of these numbers are even been revised a few times in the last few months by you know, IDC and Gartner and others because um, they might have underestimated tablets impact or the smartphones that you're seeing, the Android success in the smartphone arena. The message really becomes as we move into 2014 and beyond, um, Gartner in, in June had a, uh, uh, an estimate that by 2014, white colored workers, professional workers, on average will be, um, have at least two personally owned devices connecting to corporate data, in addition to whatever the corporation assigns to them, okay? So when you talk to CIOs, when you talk to CISOs, they don't want to manage, they can't manage all those devices, right? The answer long term is not to manage the devices and secure the devices, it's to manage and secure the workspace, whether it be an application, um, whether it be via you know, technologies like virtual desktops, um, sandboxed, so that's a, that's a techie term, but containerized applications that companies can send out two devices they don't manage, nor they know what that device is, but they know that the user and the content, the user's authorized, the content's secure, and the application itself is one that they can turn on and off at their discretion, okay? So as we, as we as a company start to work with our customers and build products, the answer to their problem isn't just how do I manage devices, it's also how do I manage the provisioning and life cycle of the application and the security of the content associated with devices they don't manage. The first thing, first problem, and let me ask, let me, let me just break it down to you this way. This is a C-level problem at, at, at corporations today, okay? So this is something that people talk about in the boardroom. This is something that, this is, and the reason why is most of the, the folks that are breaking the rules are the ones running the business, okay? They're like, I need this to run, I love this. I never have to boot this up. I don't have a VPN, I have to, I just, I want this, make it happen. I don't care, make it happen, right? So IT is like, okay, I've been doing this BlackBerry thing and you're, let me, let me, let me go, let me go figure that one out, right? So, and what's happening is right now, consumerization is impacting the, the uh, businesses in, in two ways, smartphones, tablets. There could be some new gadget out in, you know, you know, next year that would be, you know, that could, the consumer, consumer that's working on things at home comes in the workplace and says, thou shall do this because I run the business. And, and, and that's what's happened. This has been a top down um, initiative. The second thing they're concerned about is they're on a lot of legacy based applications, client server applications. Um, where they see the benefit of um, creating apps on Android or, or iOS, and they want to be able to deploy, deliver, uh, manage the licensing associated with these applications the way they do it with uh, mobile um, uh, endpoint management solutions like Semantic Saltiris technology today, client management suite. So the cost the costs associated with applications as a result of these things becoming put in the environment are also increasing. Um, not only third-party applications that they go and pay for, 
but also the cost of, of, of um, supporting and rolling out internal applications. And so they're asking for a way, an, an app store, a way to manage, a way to catalog, a way to meter the usage of these applications, okay? So I think the netted out is, if I'm a C-level person right now, I have a bunch of old applications that work on old technologies, and I want to mobilize them. So my force, field force, will spend less time doing things that are not productive. The third concern, and frankly the most, the, the biggest reason why companies look for mobile management and security technologies right now is they're concerned about data loss. They don't want the content to get in the wrong hands. And I say data loss or data leakage. So data getting in the wrong hands, somebody mistakenly sending a corporate document or personal identifiable information uh, to the wrong, to, to someone they shouldn't, or losing these devices and being accountable for what happened. The game has just begun. Mobile device management is an, a tool and it's useful to a certain degree, but it's insufficient in and of itself. You must have an ability to protect the data, provide threat protection, help our customers control expenses for applications and data, uh, eventually just manage the application and the user access to content on devices you don't even know or care they're coming from. You want the device to be irrelevant. Mobile device management does not equal you know, job done. You know, check, you bought MDM, you're done. Um, you need to deal beyond you know, creating a policy, which is what mobile device management is, is you enable access to a device, you make sure the controls that you can, can control are turned on or off, and in the event of loss, you can take action. Um, and, oh, by the way, you have an inventory of devices, um, you can run reports, you, you know what your fleet of devices are so that you can effectively manage them similar to how you would manage other assets in your environment. Okay. That's in the situation where a company wants to manage, very clear, they want to manage the devices and they're willing to manage their own devices and issue them to users or you as a user come in with your own device but are willing to give up some control on your own personally owned device. Um, that has implications and so companies have to think about their acceptable use policies around you know, how do you govern in the event that you take somebody's personal device and you make it obsolete or you, you render it useless, are you liable? And so there's a lot of business process issues that companies need to consider when doing this.